<laughs> I think you can make a lot of money back uh, by doing it. So uh, today uh, my talk is uh, it's different. So uh, the more transportation, uh, uh, the more transportation thing. I apologize, I have not translated my PPT into, into English, but I will speak English. <coughs> so today I'm going to talk about the single track vehicle uh, technology application. Actually, it's a similar talk uh, I, I was giving uh, just a few days ago in the, uh, just by the uh, Great American, where we have this. Uh, uh, Chinese uh, innovation and creation project. We got a third prize uh, on this project. So uh, this is myself five years ago. I still have more hair at the time. <laughs> uh, I was a graduate from PK PKU, uh, so work are still home up here. So I also uh, participated at the Caspia, and uh, I graduated from uh, University of Texas, Austin. After that, I was working in a neighborhood here in Intel for 13 years doing IC design. Uh, then I left uh, into, uh, I went back to China. I was hired as a, a distinguished professor uh, doing GPS satellite stuff. And uh, only recently I got another job <laughs> as a, a director in a central uh, company in Hangzhou uh, working the uh, elect, uh, electric vehicle. So uh, did a lot of uh, modeling stuff and the design for Intel before. So this is what we're gonna do. So uh, this is actually the vehicle we made in Guangdong University of Technology. So I'm gonna show a little bit more on that. So everyone knows that the Segway is, is probably very good. It was invented in uh, uh, 2002 so in Taiwan. At the time it was great. So we wanna do much better than that. So use similar technology, use a computer, computer controlled stuff, to make your vehicle much more efficient. So uh, we already have similar product here in San Francisco. There's one company called the Life Motor. Uh, they already have this. Some people probably see this. Uh, they have a video somewhere that running around with a car collide with it and it's still not full by itself. But they were, this company actually doing pretty well. That even Apple is talking to them. They might actually, Apple might uh, uh, buy, buy the technology. This is another company in China uh, makes similar thing. Uh, this is the same technology that, uh, as the light motor. <coughs> they use a flywheel. So it has a two big mechanical spinning stuff on the bottom of the, of the vehicle so that it will not fall over. So no matter how you drive, it will not fall over. But the problem with this is that you can't, this machine will not, will not lean. Like you ride a motorcycle, you, when you turn, you lean into the, into the turn. Uh, with the big, uh, uh, flying wheel, it increase your uh, power consumption, increase the uh, price, and uh, so, so that's not very good. So here's what we invented. Well, this is not our invented yet. There's one more, even the uh, uh, BMW has the, has the similar thing, self medicine motorcycle. So this is almost all big transportation company is doing it. So this is the uh, uh, BMW has it, and the uh, Honda Motor has it. Actually, end of last year, Yamaha also has similar one with a flying wheel. So the idea is that with this type of technology, you can have very small, highly efficient transportation tool. It does not occupy your uh, parking space. It does not occupy lots of, lots of road space. Uh, of course, we, we have uh, a professor who talk about how, how to reduce traffic congestion with a small vehicle, one person sitting on it. You occupy very little road. Get your home very safe, hopefully. Well, so why this is very safe. Huh? Why is safe? Uh, okay. 
because we're not full. <laughs> so, well, actually, the similar question, yes, we, uh, I gave a talk a few days ago. Uh, the uh, Stanford professor who is a judge of the uh, Chinese innovation uh, thing, he said, why, people already know how to ride bicycles, people already know how to ride motorcycles, why, why, why do they want your technology? I think it's a very good question, it's difficult to answer it. The reason is that if you notice statistics, the motorcycle, we know that motorcycle can drive on highway in the U.S. I used to have one. Uh, by the way, my wife says do not ride it anymore because it's 10 times more, uh, more dangerous. The reason is that, is that people will not fall by riding straight a motorcycle. When it, when it had accident because there's some accident that happens that you have to swerve very quickly. So if you, if you take the motorcycle safety class in the U.S., people will teach you one skill. It's called counter steering. So what, what does is that skill uh, does is you have to, suppose that you're riding forward and they, in a pickup truck in front of you, you drop a chair. You would need to turn, uh, have a sharp uh, right turn. You need first to turn your steering to the left in order to create a lean. Then you can have a very sharp turn. If you know that skill, that will save your life. Because uh, those 90% of accidents is caused by people who does not know this skill. But our self-managed motorcycle will have that skill. Because our simulation already shows that when you need to have a sharp uh, right turn, a turn left, create a lean and turn right. There's very sharp turn that not everyone can master. So actually we have a video here, hopefully it will work. <laughs> this is the one that is generated by our in, uh, engineering design professor who cooperated with us. So we actually made a prototype out of it. <laughs> so, but this one does not do a self balance yet because our control task is slower, but we're gradually getting there, which we'll show you. So uh, uh, we had a prototype fairly heavy on this, this machine. You can, if you visit the Guangdong University of Technology, you can see our uh, engineering design school uh, we have this prototype. So the aim is highly efficient uh, vehicle that is safe, uh, green, uh, intelligent, and uh, a <coughs> safe environment. So what do we wanted to do? So that we know that share is the new invention of uh, Chinese, the new full invention of the Chinese uh, government, uh, not government, Chinese people, is sharing. So what's the problem of this thing? Is this, you see a C, this actually happens in Shanghai, a C of a riding sharing bicycle, because they kind of park in the wrong place. You know, if you see people riding the sharing bike, they, they arrive at the place, they put it there, they block the road. So the city government are very upset, so they collect all those bicycles and put them into a junkyard like this. Mm -hmm. So the problem is that, so we wanted to do a self-balance and self-driving in the low speed. So what are you gonna do if you need a vehicle? You can use the app, you will drive from the nearby parking mm -hmm. lot that's not occupy any space. Drive it in front of you, you ride it, self-balance. When you reach a place, you push a button, it drives close, very slowly to a close by parking lot so it does not occupy any space. So that's the thing we wanted to do. We already have a few patents, uh, included the Chinese patent in the US, uh, EU. We also, in, uh, this year, uh, last year, we have uh, three more patents. This, uh, we invented it, not only that this two wheel thing can go, can go pretty steady. Uh, when, it mo when it moves, we can also do it when it's static. That's the new patent for. We also published a few papers include the, the IEEE transaction on intelligent transportation systems. Basically, the motorcycle and the bicycle dynamics, the landing one, we are the best in the world so far. No one can do this thing. If you want to do no detail, I will show you how, how the paper is done. <laughs> <laughs> so how, you, you wonder how this works. Well, it's actually pretty simple. So you compare with a normal human driver. So we, in, the, in our vehicle, we do not have the uh, flying wheel. So it's so much better than the uh, electric motors and the, uh, and the other company in China. So this is very, very innovative. 
So what we have is to uh, use a computer to mimic the human rider. The human rider, you can, with the eye, you see how, how fast the motorcycle is moving. And uh, then we have uh, gyros, we have accelerometers, we have encoders, or this sort of sensor. It's actually pretty cheap. And the uh, human driver also have brain. We have embedded computer. We have Lanini, dynamic model, which I'm going to show a little bit more, and also optimal control. And uh, then, in addition, you have a human have a have a hand to uh, turn uh, the steering, and we have a brushless DC motor for for doing that. So this is I'm not going to talk about this uh, mathematics, but this looks very beautiful. <laughs> we are the only way in the world to prove is that. Bicycle and motorcycle satisfy the uh, manipulator equation. <laughs> if you're interested, I'll talk more about that. So, what is this thing can do on the Lanini optimal control? Let me just show you a video that is uh, this is called the inverted uh, pendulum. Actually, inverted pendulum is very close to the to the motorcycle dynamics. So, if you're this, if you can see, this is only have one motor a uh, move this car to run. There's no friction on this node. So, uh, so you can move the motor mm -hmm. to, to put this uh, inverted pendulum up. Can you move? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, in that case, let me show you also, you can also perturb. What? Perturb it will not fall, just like you, you cannot push it, it will not fall by itself. You can also make it fall to a large angle and it will be erect by itself. So since I do not have a lot of time, move faster. And uh, this way is similar. You probably saw this before. This is actually what we try to do is to Walking use this. Uh, to move. So this is what we have already. Small one. This is my graduate student who works there. Oh. <laughs> and it actually works. <laughs> so this one is only a linear model. So we'll not have them. Large knee angle. Oh, it doesn't work too well. But anyway, the, the motorcycle itself works very well. This is just the video kind of theory. <laughs> I, I played very well at home, but I don't know why it doesn't work too well. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing a new larger one. This one is already designed. It's in a, in Guangzhou. One of the one of the companies is making a prototype for us. Uh, so so the summary of the thing. Uh, we're going to have this uh, full-size motorcycle. You can kick it, you can push it, just like the uh, Boston Dynamics, it will come back. And it will be very safe, it will be very energy efficient, and we already have a bunch of patents, some are already improved, approved, and we have some more. And the thing is that we want to change the world. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And a quick question, yeah. <laughs> So, because uh, you invented this thing in the in Guangzhou, right? So in the Da Xue Chen, is that correct? I'm very yeah, familiar yeah, with that. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's so, actually, you know it very well. Because in fact, we designed the road system, the science system today. So I'm just thinking that in that time, why don't you uh, let the stu all the students utilize that uh, this is a uh, big car uh, in the university car? Mm -hmm. That would be very good. It's about a 20. Uh, 200,000 students. Yeah, lots of students. So they can utilize that. Why? Well, uh, yeah, that would be a good suggestion. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> you know the uh, Lin, 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 Lin Weitang? He, he is the government official responsible for, for that. I see. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah. You, in, in our university cities, there yeah. already lots of us sharing a bicycle. It's just a block of road everywhere. So, yeah. so we want to use this one. Hopefully, we'll make it work. Mm -hmm. I have a quick question about the cost. Mm -hmm. You see, mobile dancer, DD dancer, they, they brag say that their cost is 2,000 yuan. How can you control this with motor to be within 1,000 yuan? Uh, is that practical? Well, we're probably going to be a little bit more. Uh, in one of the pages in, Ch in, in Chinese, we're only going to add about 1,000 uh, 1, yuan to the system you already have. So you basically oh. have a bunch of sensors already <coughs> very cheap, like uh, the gyro sensor, few dollars. Uh, I only need to add 1,000 yuan to the original design, but this will have a motor.